SBF are not an exception. They are a rule. Literally, 99% of crypto is a scam, criminal, total, really bubble, Ponzi scheme. Is, I mean, made off at the Ponzi scheme, a few thousand people lost their shirt. FTX alone was one million customer. In the US alone, there are 40 million people who have invested into crypto, mostly young people or people who have lower income or minorities. And none of them, 99% at a thousand or even, most of them got FOMO 2021 when it was skyrocketing from 20 to 30 to 50 to 69. And 99% of them bought well above the current market value. So they lost their shirt. It's a nightmare. And that's just Bitcoin alone. The other ones have fallen by 90, 95%. Out of two, officially 80% and another 17% have gone to zero. So it means 97% of them means out of 20,000 were either a scam or have lost everything. You have to stay away. You have to absolutely stay away. And most of these people belong literally in jail, literally. Is there a case for blockchain as a technology platform separate entirely? I'm skeptical even about blockchain. I think it's the most hyper, hyper hype ever because you cannot create with technology alone. I'll give you an example. They say put on a blockchain global supply sure that your tomatoes at Whole Foods are organic. But how do you know? Because you put it on the blockchain? No. Whole Foods has to send some people on the farms to make sure they're not using pesticides, GMOs, and so on. And then do the other tests in the store to make sure that whatever they've tested there is still there. After you have tested and you make sure that tomato are organic, you can put on a centralized database that is good and cheaper than DLT. So the idea that DLT can create trust is impossible because in reality you need a that validates transaction. Once you've done that hard job, then put it on a centralized database. So most of what they call actually blockchain is blockchain in name only. It tends to be private, not public, centralized, not decentralized, permission, not permissionless, and based on trusted validators rather than a trustless system. So it's not blockchain, it's a glorified data. Google Docs is a permission database, and everybody's using it, nobody's calling it blockchain. Blockchain is a fad, and it's totally useless technology. It wastes a lot of energy.